Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hi. How are you Hi. today, guys? <clears throat> Just fine. Just fine. Just fine. That's good. Okay, great. Who do we have here? Plus Jorge Antonio. Jocelyn Karina. Elisa. Juan Panameño. Hello, Jorge. ¿Qué tal? Okay. Buenas noches. Todo bien, buenas noches. Okay. José. José. Bueno, vamos a ver que entremos un poco más. Okay, I don't know how many. Hello, buenas noches. Solo estamos un par de segunditos más, un minutito más para los que. Hello, teacher. Hello, Julis. Julissa, right? Hello, good evening. Karen. Hay algunos nombres que me parecen conocidos. Bueno, no todos. <laughs> ok. Ok, pues, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Todo bien? ¿Alguna expectativa, comentarios antes de, de que iniciemos la masacre? <laughs> no, bro. Ok, ¿cómo va a estar todo? ¿Todo bien? ¿A qué nivel vamos? Principiante 3. Excelente, vamos ahí, vamos bien. Ok, good. Bueno, este, principiante 3, pero ya, ya vi también en la plataforma que hay una estructura que ya vamos hablando de futuro, ya desde el pasado, ya hay muchas detalles que ya van avanzado, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues, sí. aquí estén bueno, como antes que nada, pues decirles que mi nombre es Luis Arellán, que yo soy su instructor estos 16 días, en, y pues este cualquier comentario, cualquier pregunta en la clase, no se queden con dudas, por favor. Entonces, me gustaría que cada vez que tengan una duda, pues la externen, porque esas dudas o esas preguntas que muchas veces ustedes hacen, ayudan mucho a que a que otros que tal vez no la están pensando en el momento, pero dicen, ah, sí, cierto, yo tenía esa duda. Entonces, abona, ¿ok? Por muy este, básica que pueda sonar la pregunta, no, pero es que esto ya, ya, ya volver a preguntar lo mismo, hasta pena da. Pues yo creo que no hay que tener pena para preguntar, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, o sea, a mí me interesa mucho que, y me agrada realmente que, que pregunte. Especialmente cuando ustedes van avanzando en la, en la plataforma, es importante que que pues todas esas duditas que les van surgiendo ahí, o sea, puede ser que la lleven y todo y tal vez les salió correcta, pero pero hay algo que no les todavía les queda una duda, ¿no? Entonces esas dudas son las que yo quiero que traigan a la clase las discutamos, las resolvamos ¿ok? Y este, pues eso nos va a ayudar mucho nos va a ayudar mucho para que, para que vayamos avanzando y aprendiendo más eh, hay que procurar el Luego, después de esta pequeña introducción que tengamos, pues, este, el manejo del inglés, o sea, tratar de hacer lo posible por, por expresarnos en inglés. O sea, créame que por, uh, digamos, alguna, por lento que vayan o alguna palabra que les haga falta en la estructura, siempre nos damos a entender. O sea, es que no hay que tener pena porque no sé cómo se dice, qué es lo otro, pues, entonces, how do you say? Uh, teacher, help me with this. Uh, how can I ask this question, o si no me la escriben en el chat, como sea, pero la cuestión es darle una fluidez también en, en inglés para que nos, eh, 
¿cómo es que se llama? Para que podamos practicar. So that's, that's important. ¿Ok? Es muy, muy importante. Eh, I don't know if you have questions or any comments that you would like to, to ask. ¿Alguien que le gustaría preguntar, comentarios, expectativas? Háganlas en inglés o en español como gusten ahorita, ¿ok? Entonces, estos diez, primeros cinco o diez minutos, desen, desen gusto, ¿ok? Vamos a... Ahí más pueden hablar en español, no importa. Y aunque más adelante igual, ¿ok? Si hay, no se limiten, como les digo, por el idioma, ¿ok? Si hay algo que realmente es importante que quieran saber y encuentra un blog ahí con el inglés o el idioma, una barrera, pues me la dicen en español y yo se las escribo en inglés, y luego me las repiten en inglés y ya les resuelvo. ¿Okay? La idea, como les digo, es eso, o sea, no tener pena, hablar, a pronunciar. bueno, además, porque yo no puedo, va a ser difícil para mí desde acá decir, o sea, lo que está pensando ahorita Karen Meléndez no está correcto, o sea, no, si no me lo dice, o sea, si así como lo está pronunciando está en su mente, tampoco. Entonces, hablemos, de esa manera se practica. O sea, el inglés es de practicar, practicar mucho. Ya estamos claros, entonces hay dos cosas que, que sí tienen que meterle mucho al vocabulario. Eh, pues, sin vocabulario es porque muchas veces quieren decir algo, pero no encontramos las palabras. Entonces, eso quiere decir que hay, una, hay un déficit de vocabulario que necesitamos incrementar, ¿verdad? Y luego a veces por la pronunciación, por la pronunciación es lo de menos, por lo menos. O sea, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque si no, hay que practicarlo. Y si ustedes no lo dicen, pues no puede haber una, una corrección, ¿verdad? O por lo menos una ayuda a decir, mire, de esta manera. Y lo otro es los ejercicios en cadena. A veces que vamos repitiendo el mismo ejercicio. El primero puede hacer que cometa tal vez un pequeño ahí error en pronunciación. Pero ya los últimos llevan la ventaja que ya escucharon a los otros. Entonces, esa también, esa práctica ayuda. Entonces, es la, lo bueno de practicar en estos grupos y que todos eh, participen. ¿Verdad? Entonces, no sé, me gustaría también escucharlos a ustedes. Pues, así abiertamente, sin ninguna pena, eh, sus expectativas, ¿verdad? Porque sí, la idea es que, que salgan beneficiados y fortalecidos de este grupo, de este programa, ¿no? Ahorita, ¿no? No que entraron, que sabían más estructuras y van a terminar hablando más español que inglés. Entonces, eso vamos para atrás, si no es esa la, la idea, ¿verdad? Ok, comentarios. No, Pari. No hay comentarios. Ah, no tengan pena. Va a dejar preguntas yo en inglés y en francés. Ok, José Lemos. Comentario, José. Solo una, digamos, un este, el, el micrófono. Está, está desconectado. Ok. ¿Cuál era la pregunta? Ok, no, si tiene algo. Okay. ¿Cuál es una expectativa suya de este, de, este, de este nivel? Pues. Estuve leyendo la primera clase. La expectativa es poder comprender el, el futuro simple, creo que. Uh -huh. eh, y poder. Mantener conversaciones un poco más largas okay. y poderlas introducir a mi trabajo. Excelente. Ok, eso, a eso me refiero. Y por eso es bueno muchas veces que, que ¿cómo es que se llama? Este, tengamos la práctica, ¿verdad? Porque muchas veces los ejercicios mismos que están en la plataforma, si los llevamos aquí a la práctica en la clase, los podemos aplicar a lo que hacemos en el día a día. A mí me gusta practicar así. O sea, llenemos los ejercicios de la plataforma, sí, porque ahí está la estructura. Pero ya nos queda acá. Ahora, esa estructura, ¿cómo la practico en día a día en mi trabajo? O en otra, o en, el, o en, una, en una manera informal, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo, lo importante acá. Este, 
un recordatorio también que me han pedido que les haga es lo de las cámaras, que en la medida de lo posible, a menos que tengan el problema. Yo sé que a veces, por ejemplo, eh, si uno utiliza teléfono, especialmente si están viendo pantalla y todo eso, se les dificulta. Entonces, sí. si me han, pedido, me han pedido que en la medida de lo posible tengan sus cámaras encendidas, micrófono apagado, solamente que, que vayan a participar, pues lo encienden, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. Creo que también tienen ustedes las reacciones ahí, que me pueden levantar la, la mano por si quieren participar. Y pues, para que tengamos eso. ¿no? Entonces, el, la cámara encendida en la medida de lo posible, a menos que tenga algún pues, problema, pues, eh, también se entiende, ¿verdad? Ok. Bueno, entonces, habiendo dicho esto, llevamos 10 minutos, entonces, entremos ya a la práctica y veamos. Eh, bueno, voy a tratar de hablar lo más que pueda en inglés, a menos que consideremos, si ustedes me dicen, mira, eso no lo entendí, como le digo, sin pena, yo lo repito 10 veces si es posible, no problem. no me molesta realmente contestar ni repetir, así que no tengan pena. Ok, let me share my, my screen. Ok. Okay, so then uh, we have the first lesson objective for this class is by the end of this class, you will learn the month and date. Additionally, you will learn to about birthdays, okay? So first we're going to listen to a video, okay? And after we listen to the video, pay attention to the pronunciation And after we are going to practice with our birthdays, okay? Then real life practice. Now pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Here we go. No se escucha, teacher. Yes. It's very slow, wait a minute. By listening and practicing the months and date. Hi everyone. In this class you learn the months and date. Creo que le cambió la velocidad. Teacher, yo creo que la, la velocidad. Es uno. Very slow. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and date. Practice the months and the dates. Can you, uh, months. Is the sound okay now? Yes. You can hear? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thank you very much. Sí, yo se escucha bien, teacher. Okay. Additionally, you'll learn about Birthdays. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and date. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October, November, December. Okay, listen to the dates. The months again. Months. January, February. Okay, this is very important, right? Because you say January, not January, or January, okay? Or February, not February. Okay, listen to these two sounds. And the dates. Months. January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, 
November. December. Dates. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. Eleventh. Twelfth. Thirteenth. Fourteenth. Fifteenth. Sixteenth. Seventeenth. Eighteenth. Nineteenth. Twentieth. Twenty first. Twenty second. Twenty third. Twenty fourth. Twenty fifth. Twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? Twenty sixth. Okay. Before twenty seventh. Before we continue. Okay, just uh, remember that in Spanish, we only say first, okay? We only say uh, primero de enero. And then the next day, we say two, three, four, five, right? Then we use the numbers, and then we don't use the ordinal numbers. In English, they use first, second. That's why I say uh, January 1st, January 2nd. Today, for example, is January 25th, not 25. Okay, so then this is the, the date they use is 25th. Okay, January 25th, 2021. Or you can say Monday, January 25th, 2021. That is the complete date. Okay, we use all this. And if you see also first, second, third. Only the first three change. First, second, third. The other one is th, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, like with a z, como con zeta, right? Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth. 20th, or 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and then 24th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and then 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, and like that, okay? It's the same sequence. Twenty-eighth, twenty-ninth. 30th, 31st. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date 5th. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the US? Independence Day is on 
July 4th. The uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month July. And finally, we include the date, 4th. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your country. For example, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, or Christmas. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay. No. It's no problem. Okay. Um, all right. So then, uh, as I was telling you, okay, now we're gonna practice, okay, now we're gonna have our activity to get to know each other first. Now, this is the dynamic, okay? Uh, first, your name, okay, everybody, everybody's going to tell me your name, okay, you're going to tell me your names, okay? And if you can turn on the camera, if you can turn on the camera, mejor, eso nos conocemos mejor. And then you say, for example, okay, my name is Luis Avellan. Okay, my name is Luis Avellan. I am an English teacher. Okay, I am uh, 22 years old. Okay, no, not 22. Yes. <laughs> okay, I am 50 years old, and my birthday is on May 7th. Okay. You don't have to say the age, only three things. Your name, my name is Luis Avellan. I am an English teacher, occupation, and then your birthday. My birthday is on May 7th, okay? Now let's begin with uh, Jorge, you're the first one. Okay, my name is Jorge Antonio Figueroa. I am a computer technician and my birthday is on August 31st. Excellent, very good, great. Thank you very much. Okay, Herman. Hi, uh, my name oh. is Ivan Ingles. I am a, study, a student and my birthday is on March. Thirty-one. Thirty-first. On March thirty-first. Okay, so you are an English student, Ivan, and your birthday is on March thirty-first. Good. Ah, okay. thirty-first. Sí, yes, sí. it's okay. <laughs> no problem. Good. Okay, fine. Okay, the lucky ones are going to be the ones whose birthday is in February because we are going to celebrate it here, right? But you know, in March is too. In August, sorry, Jorge, okay? It's too far from from today, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, a Jacob, Jacobo, yes, or Jacob? Salinas. Uh, my name is e Jacob Salinas. Okay. My birthday is on November 6th day. Okay. Okay, on November 6th. Okay, not, not recently. Okay, you did. How about you? Uh, hello, my name is Edith Ramirez, and my birthday is. Yes, you lost. Okay. 
we lost the signal, Edith. And your birthday is on. Can you hear me? Now, yes. My birthday is on April 4th. April 4th. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Yulisa. Hello, sir. Hello, Yulisa. Mm, my name is Elizabeth Susana Hi. Campos. Uh, um, my my birthday. My birthday is my stem. My, ber my birthday is on no the, the month, el me mo month, el mes de su cumpleaños. Ah, uh, okay, teacher. September. Uh, my mom is no. My birthday. You. Okay, for example, look at the chat. My birth. Yo es, no sé cómo se, se dice 16 en el año. 16, 16. Uh, 16. June 16. Okay. 16, okay. That is in the chat, okay. My birthday okay. is on June 16. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Good, eh, Gabriela. My name is Gabriela Argueta. I'm a student and my birthday is in March 13. Okay, on March 13. Oh, okay, yeah. on March 13. But it's, uh, uh, it's good. Fíjense que cuando se dice solo el mes, en inglés se dice in. Okay, okay. se dice in March. O sea que decir in March estaría bien. Pero si ya le ponemos en la fecha, el, el numerito, entonces ya no ya no es in, entonces ya decimos on. Mm -hmm. On March 17th, donde se ocupa la fecha. Ok. Good. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Ok, uh, Jocelyn. Uh, hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jocelyn Lopez. I am a student, and my birthday is on May 6th. On May 6th? Hey, you, yeah. are the, you are the good one in May, like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, Herman, Teres, Herman Teresón, I think. Yes. Good night. Hello. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes. Uh, my name is Herman Teresón. Um, I am assistant assistant export. Uh, my birthday export, is export assistant. Export assistant. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. My birthday my birthday is on March thirty. On March thirtieth. Okay. okay. Yes. Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, Juan Panameño. Hello, my name is Juan Panameño. I am a teacher math. My father is on August uh, 31st. 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 Okay. Well, oh, you're a math teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, be careful, guys. Okay. No mistakes with numbers here. Okay, good. Uh, Adelaida. Hi, teacher. My Hello. name is Adelaida. I am a study. 
my birthday is on April 6th. On April 6th, and you are a student. Okay, very good. Okay, Ivana and Natalie, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Good Jacqueline, evening, teacher. Good evening. Ah, yeah. My name is Sarai Ventura. I am a student. My birthday, birthday is on October 21st. 21st. Okay. My birthday is on October 21st. Okay. Good. And the other one is Jacqueline Cari. Too. I don't know the last. Oh, it's the same. Uh, no, Jack Jacqueline Dimas is different. Eh, es el mismo teacher, lo que pasa es que me gusta okay, okay. usar el otro nombre. <laughs> sí, estar ahí. Ok, good, perfect. Ok, uh, Natalie. Hello. Hello. My name is Natalie Alarcón. My birthday is in, on August 30. On August 30th. 30th, ok. All right, Karen. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Karen Melende. I am 27 years old. My birthday is on July 6th and I am full mom time. Okay, I am. You said about a month, Karen? Sorry? What, what do you do? I am full-time mom. Oh, okay, <laughs> full-time mom. All right, good. Yes, no, you then that is a 24-7 mom, right? <laughs> yes, very good. Yes, yes, my, my, I am seven years old. You're seven years old, your daughter. Okay, good. Excellent. Elizabeth Presa, Elizabeth Presa. Good evening. My Good name evening. is Elizabeth Presa. I'm a student. My birthday is on May 28th. Very good. Excellent. You see, Carlos, Carlos Cruz. Good night. Good evening. Uh, my name is Juan Carlos Ramirez Cruz. Uh, I, I design a graphic. Uh, my, my big one. My birthday is in August, August 27th. August, it's on August 27th, okay? And you are a graphic designer. Wow, so graphic you're good. you are good with computers. That's nice. Jose? Hello? Oh, okay, no problem, Jose. No problem. Good. Thank you. Okay, and Hazel? Hello. Okay, tell me Hello. your name, your occupation, and your birthday. My name is Hazel Asensio. Este, I am a student. My birthday is. Um, como era? October, On October 14th. On October 14th. Sí. Okay, very good. Johanna. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Johanna Mejia. I am a student. My birthday is on January 26th. 26. Oh my goodness, tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody. Mañana todos traemos pupusas y pastel, okay? Vamos a compartir aquí, okay? Mañana le cantamos el happy birthday, okay? Thank no se lo puede olvidar, porque a mí sí se me puede olvidar, okay? Good. Eh, Jacqueline Carías. Your microphone, Jacqueline, I guess. Is... Sí, teacher. Okay. Tell me your name. Tengo encendido, teacher. Okay, now yes.
Yes. Sí, teacher. Okay, now tell me your name, your occupation, and eh, birthday. Teacher, ya lo dije. Dije Saraí ah, Ventura. <laughs> you told me too, yes, Saraí, right? Sí. Yes, sí. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No problem. Okay. <laughs> ya me voy acostumbrando a sus nombres, okay? Lo único que sí. mañana, ojalá que estén en la misma posición en la cama. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, okay, thank you. Okay, ¿qué me falta? Who's missing? José. José Lemus, I guess. Hello, class. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jose Mejia. I am a student and employed to factory. Okay. I have 23 years old. And my birthday is on March 25th. Okay. Very good. Okay, March 25th. Okay, look. Now, ¿qué hemos aprendido ahorita? First, the correct form. Cuando se saluda, good evening, okay? Hello, good evening. Okay, no good night. Eh, no good afternoon, good evening. Cuando ya nos vayamos, vamos a decir good night. Okay? Good night is bye-bye. Okay? Cuando ya no se va a ver a alguien más en la noche. Entonces, se dice good night. But eh, cuando se entra, aunque sean las 10, 11 de la noche, good evening. Okay? Then, cuando se goodbye, good night. Then, Good evening, then my name is, then uh, I am uh, a doctor, I am an engineer, I am a graphic designer, I am a, a export assistant, I am a student, okay? I am, I am. My birthday is my birthday, okay? Be careful with beer, right? Birthday, beer, no, no beer day, okay? It's birthday. My birthday is on May 7th. My birthday is on January 26th. My birthday is on February 24th. Okay. And what else? How oh, when we say uh, the month only, we say in May, in June. Okay. Uh, take notes. Vayan tomando nota de estos detallitos, right? Because these are the ones that se van corrigiendo desde ya, entonces se va mejorando el inglés y son cosas que ya después no, son errorcitos que ya no se van a cometer más adelante. Ok, eh, let me see what else, and that's what we have. And the other thing is, ok, una cosa, los felicito, o sea, no veo que alguien tenga problemas de pronunciación. Eh, tal vez en fluidez porque van un poquito quizás tratando de acordarse de cómo decirlo, eh, a veces puede ser por por la señal, ok, a ver, puede haber un poquito de pena, eso ya cada quien lo sabe, para que yo se la quitando, pero no veo problemas de pronunciación, ok, de fluidez, o sea que sí se puede, o sea, obviamente se necesita práctica, right, y poco a poco lo van a ir mejorando, ok, o sea, practicando y, y levantando la mano y hablando, that's the way it is, ok, preguntas en este momento, no, ok, let's go back to the platform, Okay, I have a couple of chats. Let me see the, the microphone. Okay. Okay, Jackie, no problem. All right. Then we have the, the dial here. And then we go to the next one. Yes. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Presak. Would you be, can you do me a favor and read? The, the objective here, please. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes and no questions, questions using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about birthday plans. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, you see, real life setting. So this is a conversation that is useful, okay? Now let's listen to the video.
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates... Is the sound okay? Yes? All right. Yes. 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 Stretch how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invite. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement, anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. 
after that we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb sing finally we add a compliment to you and a question mark at the end now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to think about your plans for the weekend and write them down do as many examples as you can after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums Okay, before we go, go to the practice, I would like to know if you have any questions, doubt, alguna duda, preguntas. Choose the last question. No? No teacher, at the moment, no. Okay, excellent. Okay, remember that going to Okay, going to So we're gonna use how can we explain this? I'm gonna use it this way. Okay, it's going to to express future. And these are like future plans. Okay. Sometimes we have we think about some activities, okay, that we want to do tomorrow, on the weekend, next month, next year. So there are, you know, different moments in the future, right? For example, if you want to talk about some ex some activities that you would like to do on on the weekend, for example, you can use statements, okay, or sentences, okay. For example, we say, "I am." going to uh, watch TV, okay? That's one of my plans for this week, okay? This is one for the, for the plan for this weekend, my plan. You can use the contraction, okay? You can use the contraction, I'm going to watch TV. Okay, no problem. What else? Uh, I'm I'm going to go to the beach, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much, David. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, that's a plan. Okay, I'm going to go to the beach. Okay, good. Sounds like a plan. I am going to close the window. All right. Please do it because it's cold here. Okay. And say yes. I'm going to close the window. Okay. And this is a good example. Look. For example, this is uh, something that you are going to do in this moment. That's what I said in a moment. I'm going to close the window. Okay. Uh, the, the future is relative. It's just relativo, right? I'm going to close the window. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to watch TV. Okay. What else? I am going to travel to Guayua. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You see, now we are using so lo que decíamos, actividades que hacemos en el día a día, right? I'm going to, you said, to travel, right? Travel. Okay, I'm going to travel. Okay, to where you are. Where you are, right? Yep. Where you nice, are. nice place. 
I am going to run the park in the park. I am going. Okay, going to run in the park. Okay, that's good. Fitness, that's good in the park. Okay, what else? See, the same structure, you're just uh, changing the verb. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Now you can practice vocabulary. Uh, I am going to cooking tonight. I am going to cook tonight. Yes. Okay, I'm going to cook tonight. Very good. Excellent. Try to, okay. Now uh, try to uh, use the verb, but don't repeat the verb that we have already here. You, you, can, you cannot use watch, no go, no close, no travel, no run, no cook. Okay, other verbs. I am going to swim tonight. Very good. Tomorrow. No problem, tonight or tomorrow is okay. I'm going to uh, swim tonight. Okay, you can also say tomorrow. Tonight because the night is over, right? You can say tonight, no problem. Okay, I'm going to say tonight. I'm going to wash the clothes. I am going to wash my clothes. Okay, and then you did, or you leave? No, you leave a bit. Okay. I am going to wash my clothes. Okay, very good. I am going to go to the store. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see we have go, close, well, you repeat, uh, travel, run, cook, swim, wash, and go. I am going to read a book. Perfect. Excellent example. I am going to read a book. Okay. Estos son como momentos para desempolvar el vocabulario que uno a veces no usa, right? These are the exercises that you can that we can use for that. What else? Teacher. Yes. Y digamos, si yo quiero decir, are you going to dance tonight? Es correcto. Of course it is. Yes. It's a good example too. Okay. And that is a question. Okay. Yes, I said the step. Okay, I'll okay, okay. okay. Now, let me see. Okay, so Jim, then on the chart. So you see, this is the, the let's say the, the affirmative statement, but you can also use negative statements. Okay, what are the negative statements? Now we're gonna write here in the chat. Okay, here you have, I'm going to ride a motorcycle. Okay, then I don't like motorcycle in my personal opinion. And then say, I'm not going to ride a motorcycle. Okay. Now you were telling me sentence, affirmative sentence. Okay, affirmative state. Now tell me things that you are not going to do this week. Okay. I am not. I am not going to swing in the beach. Okay, very good. Excellent. Who else? Okay. 
open participation. Yes, Gabriela. No? No? Um, I, I go to... I'm not. Negative, right? I'm not. I'm not mm -hmm. going to drive to work. Okay, very good. I'm not going to drive to work. This traffic is crazy, right? I'm not going to drive. Yes. Good. It is. I am not going to read a newspaper. Yes. Okay. Very good. I'm not going to read a newspaper. Or I'm not going to read the newspaper. I'm not going to read that newspaper. Yes. Okay. okay. So the pen. Very good. Who else? She One. is not right going to work. Okay. Very good. Third person. She's not. Okay. Then you can say that. Uh, She's not going to drive to work. Edith I'm is not going not, to read the newspaper. Elizabeth? I'm not going to dance tonight. Okay, Elizabeth is not going to dance tonight. Okay, she's tired. Okay, what else? More, more, more negative. I am not going to listening uh, reggaeton. Okay, very good. I'm not going to listen reggaeton. Great, very good. It is okay. You see, I like I like your fluency. Me gusta la fluidez con lo que la hacen. Okay, it's very good. Y están usando oraciones del día a día, right? Very good. What else? I'm not going to sleep tonight. Wow. Why, right, Carlos? It's only example. I'm not going to sleep tonight. Ajá, ¿Es solo ejemplo o es verdad? Uh, true. Okay. Bye. Are, you going, <laughs> are, you, are you going to work? <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Well, then say, are, look at the question. Are you going to work all night? I say, are you going to work all night long? You say, yes, I am. Okay. So Carlos is not going to sleep tonight. Okay, then drink a lot of coffee. Okay. <laughs> yes. Coffee. <laughs> okay, good. Who else? More negative sentences. One I more. am not. Teacher. Yes. I am not going to go to gym. I'm not going to go the to gym. gym. Oh, come on, mm -hmm. you have to. Ah, don't stop. Okay. Okay. So then we have affirmative statement, negative statement. Now we have two, three minutes for question. Are you going to? Okay. Like for example, are you going to dance tonight? Are you going to work tonight? Are you going to travel this year? Are you going to travel to another country this year? Uh, are you going to complete all the English courses? Okay. Are you going to cook tonight? Eh, no, you listen, not tonight. Okay, no, I'm not. You say no, I'm not. Okay, on the weekend, yes. Okay. Another question. Are you going to sing tonight? Oh, yes, I always sing. I love singing. Yes, I like it. karaoke. I love karaoke. Okay. Another question. Are you going to take a shower tonight? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Oh, no. no, not tonight. Tomorrow morning, yes. Okay, tomorrow morning. Y de la pila. Very cold water. <laughs> yes. It's delicious. Oh, yes, I am. Every day. In the morning and in the afternoon, but not in the night. Okay, what else? Are you going to? Are you going to have vacation the next month? No, I am not. No, I am not. Not okay. next. Another one? Is she clean the house? 
is she going to clean the house? If you want to ask about that, yes, yes, she is, right? Uh, you can you can use uh, a subject like, for example, is your sister going to clean the house? Is your uh, are you going to clean the house? Or are you going to help your wife uh, clean the house? Okay, then it's a issue. Good. One more. Are you going to listen music for sleep tonight? Uh, tonight? No, I'm not. Not for not for sleeping. Before yes, but uh, sometimes before sleep, what I do is to uh, read the news. Read the news and then uh, or articles or something and then I fall asleep. If I listen to music, I don't it's sleep. Very relaxing. Yes. If I listen to music, I don't sleep because I love music. And then I uh, listen more and more. Are you going to dancing with the music? Are you going to dance with the music? And uh, not tonight. Okay. On the weekends, yes, you know, I like to dance and I salsa or something. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to Perdón, con la escoba bailan. No, oye, con la escoba. A ver, con el machete, cuando estoy cortando ahí las ramitas al coco. Yes. Okay, no, but yes, with the broom, with the broom, con la escoba, with the broom. The chair, you are going to the cinema? Are you going? To the cinema. Are you going to go to the cinema? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, only if there is an excellent movie. Yes, because no. Now that you have sometimes uh, movies on TVs, Netflix, you know, it's, it has a lot of movies. Okay, one more. The last one. Are you going to drink a coffee tonight? Are you going? Yes, Jonathan. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Somebody, uh -huh, Adel, Adelaide. Are you now feminine? Are you going drink soda in the lunch? For lunch, yes, yes, I am. Yes, I like to drink soda or well, I prefer natural refreshments. But if not, soda is okay. Okay, people, you see now we have affirmative. Negative and interrogative questions about the future going to. Okay, so then uh, tomorrow we will continue with other topics and practicing. Important thing is, if you see here is the verb and vocabulary about activities. For example, are you going to stay at home? Are you going to visit your parents? Are you going to get uh, new car next month. Okay, so you practice verbs and then you practice uh, vocabulary at the same time. Okay, uh, it was a pleasure. Fue un placer eh, estar con ustedes, conocerlos. Creo que vamos a hacer un buen curso. Veo que hay mucho potencial acá. And then, uh, cualquier cosa, pues ya saben, ahí estamos a la orden en el chat o pues aquí en las clases. No se atrasen con las plataformas para no correr al final y y hacer bien las cosas. ¿okay? Cualquier duda que tengan en la plataforma, tráiganla a la clase y aquí la discutimos porque así nos ayuda a todos. ¿okay? Eso es bien, bien importante. Así que es un placer. Pasen muy buenas noches. Yo todas las noches les voy a dejar una tarea. Y okay. El, que, okay. el que no la cumpla, le voy a poner cero. ¿okay? <risa> the, the homework is dream in English. <risa> what con subtítulo. Ah. <laughs> Caption, con captions. Uh, dream in English. Soñar en inglés. Ok. Ok, hey, that's, teacher. That's the home. Ok, hey, teacher. Todos los días. No drink, no tomar, sino que soñar. <laughs> <laughs> ya me había emocionado, teacher. Ah, yo, yo Igual. También, yo también, pero no. <laughs> Pensé que ya era. Ya viernes, digo. Ah. No, llegó el viernes. No. Ok. Pero no Yo tiene nada más en de semana. semana. No, 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 no problem. Ok, recuerden, las, ah, las clases son de lunes a jueves, por cualquier duda. Ok, siempre van a estar de lunes a jueves, cuatro horas de la semana. Siempre a las ocho hasta las nueve. Teacher, ok, eh, va a ser grupo de WhatsApp. Ya está, ya está el grupo. Si este.
Bueno, que hacen es como se llama, ya les, ya les mandaron el link, creo. Yes, sí. yes. En el correo. Ah, pues, en voy el a correo revisar. Que, sí, y Gracias. Únanse porque a veces, este, más adelantito, yo, a veces las notas que voy tomando acá, a veces las cosas bien limpias y las pongo ahí en el chat para que revisen y, y lo repasen. Ok, teacher, si nos pueden mandar vocabulario. Ajá, o algún material extra o algo, yo se los pongo ahí. Para ok, ahí. teacher. Ok, muchas gracias. Un okay. gusto a todos. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. partners. Okay.